everyone, my name is Isabella and this is my term project for 15112 at Carnegie Mellon. And for my term project, I made a program called Free Of, which allows you to see if you're allergic to a food by scanning its barcode and it will tell you if you're allergic to it or not. So let's get started. So here I have the eight most common allergens. So if you select one of these, it will check for everything that that allergen entails. So for example, I click dairy, so it will check for casein and whey and everything that has dairy in it. And then if you're allergic to something unique, you can type something here, um, like your own allergen. So say I'm allergic to peppermint, so I can just type in peppermint, hit submit, and it will check for peppermint as well. And now we can scan our barcode. So I'm gonna be scanning Honey Nut Cheerios first. So I can just scan these. And it is Honey Nut Cheerios, so then I can just click yes. And those are safe to eat because Honey Nut Cheerios don't have dairy or peppermint. So now I'm gonna start over, and this time I will be checking for tree nuts. Again, scanning the Honey Nut Cheerios. And then I skin it. And it is Honey Nut Cheerios. And it's not safe because it contains almond. So here it will list the actual ingredient in the food that you're allergic to. So Honey Nut Cheerios do contain almond and almonds are a tree nut, so it lists almond. And so now we're gonna start over and look at another new feature. This time I'll be saying that I'm allergic to cinnamon. And I'll be scanning Kashi Organic Cinnamon Harvest cereal. So I click to scan. And I scan it. And it is this cereal, so I click yes. And it's not safe, but then if I click here at similar products, it will list products that are similar to the food I just scanned, but that I'm not allergic to, so they wouldn't have cinnamon in them. So I can just click that. And it will list these types of cereal that are similar to what I just scanned. So Kashi Berry Fruitful Cereal, Kashi Autumn Wheat Cereal, and Kashi Island Vanilla Cereal. And if I click on one of these links or one of these images, it will take me to somewhere online where I can actually purchase this cereal. So I can purchase this cereal at Walmart and I can buy it just through this link. All right, so we're gonna test one last feature. And so for my project, I use the USDA food product database. However, some foods that are on the market aren't in that database. So for example, Jif peanut butter isn't in that database. So if I checked for peanuts, it wouldn't be in the database, but you can still see if you're allergic to it. So say I try to scan the barcode and I'm gonna be scanning the Jif peanut butter barcode, except it's on my phone because I'm allergic to peanuts. So I don't have the barcode with me, but do you have it on my phone? All right, so product not found because like I said, not in the database. However, I can just type in the ingredients to Jif peanut butter right here. So roasted peanuts, hydrogenated soybean oil, molasses, sugar, and salt. And then I can click submit. And it's not safe because Jif peanut butter contains peanut and peanuts. So really not safe to eat, really should not do that. So now you can just start over and that is it for my free of food allergy detector. And thank you guys so much for watching.